Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at an interesting item that I picked up recently from Target. And uh, this wasn't very expensive, it only cost under $20, uh, and I ordered it uh, from Target's website. And uh, so it, what it is, it's, it's basically a 1-6 scale uh, version of a human anatomy um, sculpture. And uh, it's interesting because it has uh, 21 removable body parts. And uh, the organs inside of these are sort of squishy. Uh, they have this sort of a touch here feature so you can see what the squishiness is like. And um, I thought it was really interesting and it was uh, very much reminiscent of things that I remember having uh, when I was a kid. Uh, there was um, several different model kits that were available uh, when I was growing up. Uh, there was a visible man and a visible woman model kit uh, that looked uh, very similar to this, although uh, the internal parts and so forth uh, were uh, just made out of plastic, uh, rigid plastic. I don't think they were uh, squishy at all from what I remember. And it was very much uh, a model kit. And I think you had to paint the individual parts and everything like that. So it wasn't quite as, uh, you know, completely realized as uh, this version. So uh, on the back of the package, you can actually see uh, some of the interesting things. Um, this is clearly marketed at kids. Uh, you know, it's got this, it's gut check time and uh, lists uh, the various things in here and um, talks a little bit about the educational aspects of this and uh, digest uh, says the illustrated anatomy book uh, follows a slice of pizza as it travels through the body and interacts with different internal systems so clearly they're trying to teach uh, kids a little bit about human anatomy and how it works and uh, so and you can see all the various things that come with the set so I think it looks really cool in the package, but I'm anxious uh, to get this out of the package and take a look at the various things that come with this. Um, my reason for buying it uh, was that it's a 1 6 scale, which means it'll be roughly the same size as my 12 inch GI Joes. And I think it's going to make for an interesting diorama piece. Like if I ever want to build like a scientist laboratory uh, for my GI Joes, I think this figure would fit in quite well in that kind of environment. So uh, that's part of my motivation for picking it up. And I just find it fascinating because it does uh, very much remind me of, of things that were around uh, when I was growing up. But let's go ahead and get this out of the package and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so we got this thing out of the package now. And as you can see, it comes with some paperwork and the uh, various squishy organs are all kind of wrapped together in this little sheath. Uh, so you can kind of remove that as uh, one unit. And the front of the figure does come off, uh, so you can see uh, this is the front part of the skin of the figure, uh, done in transparent plastic, and pretty easily removable. There were just some rubber bands that were sort of holding it in place. Uh, once you remove them, uh, it kind of just uh, clicks off pretty easily. And it does come with a stand, uh, and there's little pegs in the bottom of the feet uh, that allow that to click into place. So that's pretty cool. And I did want to show you uh, quickly in terms of scale. I have one of my 12 inch GI Joes here uh, for scale. So you can see uh, roughly uh, it does stand just a smidge taller than GI Joe. Uh, so you can see just in terms of scale, it is roughly one six scale. Uh, so uh, it will fit in quite nicely if you have a collection of GI Joes and you want to uh, create sort of a scientific lab and you want to have a anatomical structure of the human body as a representation in that scale, uh, this will make sense as a diorama piece. Uh, that's the main reason why I bought it. So in case you guys out there are 1-6 scale collectors, uh, I highly recommend picking this up. Again, it wasn't very expensive, uh, you know, under 20 bucks uh, for this. Uh, you know, it's pretty good in terms of what you're getting. So all these little pieces are removable. Um, you can see the skull uh, comes out of there. So and inside of the skull, uh, this uh, headpiece opens up and you can see the squishy brain inside of there. So that's very cool. I do like that a lot. Uh, I wasn't sure uh, if that was actually uh, part of the equation. Not too much detail in terms of uh, the sculpting on the skull. It's pretty simplistic, uh, but I think it does the job uh, in terms of being sort of an anatomical representation of the human body. And uh, these various other pieces are removable as well. Um, so the arm comes out as a solid piece. You can see what that looks like. That is hard plastic. This is not squishy. And uh, the leg also comes out same way. Uh, this is hard plastic. And each of these uh, skeletal items is also uh, done in hard plastic. And each of these kind of click into place. Uh, there's various uh, places where these adhere to uh, the rear portion of the um, body. Uh, so, so you can see that individual part pops out. 
And same is true of the arm pieces as well. So these various bones come out individually. So that's a pretty cool feature. I like the fact that it's not just one solid piece. You actually get individual bones that come out of this. Um, so that's kind of nice. You know, each one of these um, so has its own little pegs that it fits into. So pretty cool, um, you know, and uh, I take all of them out, but I think you kind of get the point. Um, each of these is removable uh, from the structure and I actually provide you with a, um, a little guide here. Uh, so you can actually organize uh, the various uh, body parts. So they give you this little uh, thing. It's almost like a poster. They have labeled each of the body parts. So you can kind of lay them into place as you're removing them from the model kit. So, so that's pretty cool. Also included with this is the uh, front of the rib cage. I didn't show you that. So that, that's what that looks like. That kind of pegs into place and holds all the organs in place uh, when you've got it fully assembled. Uh, also included... Uh, with this is a basic instruction sheet um, shows you uh, how the various parts go together um, so so that's kind of nice uh, in case you uh, you know sort of disassemble things and get a little bit confused about how to put the thing back together they do give you this instruction sheet again it's sort of like a poster um, you know kind of uh, you know just a basic instructions and also included uh, with this is a, a large uh, booklet um, which gives you um, a lot of educational material about human anatomy, which is pretty cool. So they run through uh, the various organs and their functioning. And, uh, you know, so they start off with the stomach. Um, again, they're talking about how the digestive system works. So uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, intestines, liver, and, you know, they go through uh, each of these sort of uh, giving you some details about how these various body functions work, diaphragm, heart, esophagus and trachea, lungs, skin and muscles, bones, and brain. So, and again, uh, throughout this thing, uh, they're talking about, uh, I believe, a slice of pizza in terms of uh, how it's being digested as it goes through the body. So. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty good in, in terms of educational material. If you are uh, getting this for your child, you know, um, you know, it's not just going to be a, a total play toy. It will actually have some educational value. So that's pretty cool. And inside of here are the uh, various squishy organs. So and you can sort of remove them uh, from this uh, sheath um, so you can see what the heart looks like. So again, squishy organs. And also inside here are the lungs. We'll take that out. Yeah, they all kind of stick together, so that's kind of kind of freaky, but uh, I like it a lot. So you can see uh, this part comes out. There's your lungs, liver, and stomach, right? So that's those two parts, kidneys and bladder. So that's pretty cool. And then the intestines. Uh, I believe this thing sort of extends out the small intestine as well because they sort of illustrate that um, being sort of like a part that you can kind of remove from the other part. So, um, yeah, I don't want to necessarily extend this out too much, but, uh, yeah, you can see that's sort of semi-removable from, from that. So pretty cool overall. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily need the organs to be squishy. It's kind of a, a little gruesome, but... Uh, honestly, um, just in terms of all the detail and so forth on this, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, these actually could benefit maybe from a little bit of paint details, uh, although I don't know how the paint would necessarily react uh, to this sort of uh, rubbery material. It, again, it's very sticky, um, so I'm not really too sure what exactly this material is made out of and how well it'll hold up over time. But uh, I think it's really cool, and hopefully it'll hold up long enough uh, that I can actually eventually build sort of a, you know, scientist diorama um, and actually be able to use this as part of the background for that. So cool looking uh, internal organs, and really like the way the texture is done on these lungs. I think that looks really cool. So very nice. And I like all the way the bones are done, too. Uh, they're pretty simple, uh, not too much detail on them. But enough detail so you can kind of get the general idea of uh, what's going on with this. So this is what the figure looks like uh, when it's fully assembled. 
And I think it looks really fantastic. Um, it should be noted that um, these internal organs um, do have a tendency to sort of flop out of there uh, when it's uh, displayed in the upright position. Uh, so you may want to retain that uh, little plastic sheath uh, that the organs are sort of wrapped in when, it, when, it, when you first unwrap it, uh, just to sort of hold them in place uh, when it's displayed in this upright position, um, because otherwise uh, they may kind of fall out over time. So, so just keep that in mind, uh, depending on how you're going to display this, uh, you may want to retain that uh, little plastic sheath. Also, uh, with this figure uh, come a couple of instruments. Um, so if your child is going to be interacting uh, with this thing, um, you get sort of a couple of uh, little pieces of equipment to sort of move uh, the organs and bones around uh, and interact with them. So, so that's kind of cool. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more coverage of 1-6 scale figures and accessories, uh, think about subscribing to my channel because I will be covering a lot more of this stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.